Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Knowledge. Today, we will be continuing the topic we started in the previous week, Algebra. I will be giving the link of my previous video in the description box down below. Before I start the video, I am going to do a quick recap of what we discussed in the previous video. A constant remains the same in any equation. A variable is the unknown factor in an equation or an expression. A variable is any alphabet from A to Z. And an equation is any problem with an equal to sign. These are the main points we discussed in our previous video. Now that I have done a quick recap, we will be continuing further. After about how to solve equations, we need to know about terms, expressions and equations in a little more detail. Firstly, terms. A term is when a constant and a variable join. This forms a term. Examples are 5z, 13y square, 7x, etc. Let's take the first example, 5z. In this, 5 is the constant and z is the variable. This means that 5 into z will equal to 5z. There are many more examples like these. Now, let's learn more about expressions. An expression is when two terms are joined by any arithmetic operations. These operations are multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So, when two terms are joined by any of these operations, it is called an ex expression. Examples are 15y plus 8 upon x. Let's take this example. In this, 15y and 8 upon x are two different terms. They are being joined by an arithmetic operation which is addition. As you can see, in 8 upon x, it means a divided by x. In algebra, division problems are commonly written in fractions. Now, let's learn about equations. An equation is when two or more expressions and arithmetic operations are partitioned by an equal to sign. Example, 15 plus 7 equals to x or 7 plus x equals to 15. Let's take the first example. 15 plus 7 equals to x. In this, 15 plus 7 is a term and x is the variable. These are being partitioned by an equal to sign which is in the middle. This is a one-step equation. When there are two expressions, it will be called as a two-step equation and so on. Now that we know what are equations, expressions and terms, I will tell you all how to solve an equation. To solve an equation, you need to undo it. Algebra is like a balance scale. To solve the equation, you need to make sure that the variable is on one side of the equation and the expressions are on the other side. Now, if you do anything on one side of a balance scale, you need to do the same thing to the other side to maintain the balance. The same goes with the equations. If you do one thing to one side of the equation, you need to do the same thing to the other side. Now, to undo an equation, you will need inverse operations, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. These pairs are inverse operations. When they are used together, they cancel each other's effect. Like if you add 7 plus 7 will equal to 14. Now, if you minus 7 from it, it will come back to 7, which was our starting number. This is exactly what inverse operations do. I will show you all in some examples in the next slides. Now, I will show you some examples on how to solve equations. Our equation is 4 plus 7 equals to x. 
As I told you all in the previous slide, you need to make sure that the expression is on one side of the equation and our variable is on the other side. Now we have to find the value of x. As the equation says, 4 plus 7 equals to x, we are simply going to have to add 4 plus 7 which equals to 11. Hence, the value of x will be 11. Now, I will reform the exact same equation and show how to solve it in the next slide. As I told you all before, I am going to reform the same equation I showed you all before and tell you how to solve it. x minus 7 equals to 4. This is the same equation. It has just been given in a trickier form. To solve this equation, as I told you all before, you need to get the equation in a simpler form. You are going to put the variable on one side and the expressions on the other. I will show you all how to do it. This is the part where we use inverse operations. As there is only one operation used here, we are going to use its inverse operation. So, as addition is the inverse operation of subtraction, we will do the following. We are going to add 7 to x. So, this will get us 2x plus 7. So, as addition and subtraction cancel each other, we are going to remove the 7, which leads us to x on one side. As I told you all before, Equations are like a balance scale. We need to do the same thing on both the sides. As we added 7 previously, we are going to add 7 to the other side of the equation as well. So now we have a simpler form. x equals to 4 plus 7. This is way easier to solve. So we are simply going to add 4 plus 7 which gets us to 11. Here is the simplest form of our equation, x equals to 11. This is how we simplify an equation when it is given in a totally jumbled form. Let's practice some of the equations. Our first equation is 5 plus x equals to 12. In this equation, we are going to use subtraction as our inverse operation. So, we are going to subtract 5 from both the sides. So, 5 minus x will lead us to x. And on the other side of our equation, 12 minus 5 equals to 7. Which gives us the answer to our equation, x equals to 7. Now, let's go to the second equation. x minus 8 equals to 4. Here, we are going to have to Add 4 on both the sides. So, x plus 8 and minus 8 cancel each other. And 4 plus 8 equal to 12. So, which gives us the answer of our equation. x equals to 12. Now, let's go to our last equation x plus 3 equals to 5. So to simplify this equation, we are going to have to subtract 3 from both the sides. x plus 3 and minus 3 cancel each other, which leaves us x on one side. And 5 minus 3 leads us to 2, which gives us the answer x equals to 2. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts regarding to this video, you can comment them down below. I will see you all next week. Until then, bye.